with my fiance Ian Lee. Um, we work in mostly acrylic. Uh, we do work in some mixed media like glitter um, as well as some, some others. We try to stick to uh, a pop theme. theme. We call it pop rock art. So as you can see most of it is rock and roll based. We do some 1940s and 50s glamour pieces as well. Um, we co-paint all the pieces together. We hike every morning, come up with the ideas together. We sketch them out, paint them, and then he writes up all of the pieces on it. Um, you can see all of our artwork at urart.net. And um, Ian is also a touring artist. Uh, he's the drummer for Led Zeppelin II. He'll be at the Foundry on the 9th of this month, which is next Wednesday. Um, the show is sponsored by KSLX, and we are uh, giving away a Jimmy Page painting for the radio station. As I said, the radio station is sponsoring the uh, Led Zeppelin II show at the Foundry on 1st, next Wednesday. So we decided to do a piece inspired by Led Zeppelin, um, since he's in Led Zeppelin II. And we decided to paint Jimmy Page on uh, what is actually a six-foot door. Uh, it looks like a Marshall amp. And um, the radio station got really excited when they saw it, and they asked if they could have it and give it away as a contest on the air to promote the show. And we said, sure. Showed our art at the Scaler for the last three months. Um, we are we also have art in Barsmith downtown, downtown, and then um, we currently have three pieces on exhibition at the Arizona State Fair. We try to get out as much as we can, just the more exposure, the better. Um, and then we also run our own website, urart.net, where you can see all of our pieces. Uh, well, we painted mostly acrylic yeah. on canvas and then on doors. Thank you. Hey, Ian Lee here. I'm at Gallery Celtica, and um, I'm a painter. And I paint with my girl, Sarah. And uh, we're standing here in front of a bunch of my art. And um, it's kind of third Friday uh, in uh, November. And we come here at uh, Gallery Celtica on Roosevelt Road and uh, hang out and show our art to the uh, wild kids and the people and the art connoisseurs here in Phoenix. And um, yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, so me, uh, I'm an old, uh, I'm a musician as well, and uh, been painting uh, for a few years now, and then uh, met up with uh, my girl, and she and I paint all these pieces together, actually, we come from, uh, like I said, I'm a musician, so um, the arts and the world of art, and all our kind of art is based in uh, rock and roll, it's all music based, and pop culture kind of based, um, like I said, we paint as a team, so come up with an idea and we figure out how to execute it and then we knock it out and then we come down here and put it on the walls and uh, people go crazy for it. We got these uh, Freddie Mercury from Queen and we got all these uh, kind of rock and roll John Lennon kind of pieces and anyhow we can uh, get into all that stuff and then I play drums in this band called Led Zeppelin 2 and I tour about 100 days a year. We play um, about 1,500 seat venues. We play like House of Blues type of place. We just played here in Phoenix last uh, about two weeks ago. At the Foundry, a thousand seat venue, did really great there. I also play here in Phoenix in a local band called Scorpion vs. Tarantula. And we're going to be making a record coming up in January. We're going to make it in Detroit and uh, we're making it with Jim Diamond, who did the uh, White Stripes records, and a bunch of other bands like the Dirt Bombs and the Love Me Nots, another band here from Phoenix. And uh, I don't know, just kind of trying to create a scene uh, here in Phoenix. We need some culture and the world needs art, and uh, that stuff's important. And uh, whether you're a lawyer or an accountant or uh, whatever you do in life, um, you should have art in your life, I think. And uh, it's a worthwhile endeavor to go ahead and create something out of nothing. You know, before this thing was uh, this cool piece here, you got to remember it was just a piece of canvas with nothing on it. And uh, you take your ideas and you put them out into the world and hopefully it communicates to people is what uh, basically Sarah and I like to do. Same thing with uh, drumming and music, you know, you get up on stage and you play your music and you entertain people and you get a good communication going and hopefully people like it. And that stuff is what makes life worth living as far as I'm concerned, so it's kind of my, my basic thought. How did you get to know this gallery in particular? Uh, well, Sarah and I just came down to, for, like once we had a a bunch of stuff and just decided we're kind of a weird story because my girl and I we met she was a painter she had kind of hung it up for a little while I was kind of like a, a painter and but didn't hadn't really didn't really have a 
the skills to execute a lot of my ideas, but Todd's a great ideas, and then the two of us came together as a couple, and then sort of like, hey, let's paint together. So we started painting together, we got a bunch of paintings, we came down to First Friday and Third Friday a couple times and just scoped out the scene, say, wow, there's a lot of people down here, and then... Um, we just came in, we just happened by the gallery, talked to the owner, Ira, he was really great to us, seemed interested in, our, in uh, talking to us, he, we showed him his stuff, showed him our stuff, and he really liked it. You are art.net, like you are art, like you yourself imbue art. And uh, it's kind of a funny thing, because when I met Sarah, it was kind of the first thing I said to her. I fell in love with her, love at first sight and all that kind of stuff, and I said, baby, you are art. So when we started doing art together, <laughs> Came like this little. Uh, let's do an art. We'll do you know. We'll put up a website. So it's urart.net. And then I have another website for myself as a drummer. My musician website is thebestdrummerintheworld.com. Zeppelin band is letzeppelin2.com. More websites than I can shake a stick at. Yeah, when you say Led Zeppelin, it ever has to do with the old Led Zeppelin? Yeah, we do full uh, creations of Led Zeppelin concerts. We're a touring, uh, you know, pretty much full-time touring Led Zeppelin band. We. Uh, Recreate specific concerts. We'll recreate an album, depending on you know the market, uh, you know how well we've done there or how many times we've played there. To keep things fresh, we'll do different concerts where, like, where we'll do like the Led Zeppelin 1977 tour, uh, Madison Square Garden. The second night they did this set, so we'll do we'll recreate exactly that set of songs, or we'll do like the first album and then some other songs. Or the second album we'll do different combinations of uh, things. But we've done pretty much their entire catalog and and uh, we're considered, you know, the top Led Zeppelin band basically in the world, so. And you're touring? Yeah, we tour about 100 days a year. We play, I just finished, I just got home two days ago. Um, we just finished a uh, 10-day run where we played San Francisco. Last show was in San Francisco, we played Los Angeles, uh, San Diego, Sacramento, Phoenix, Las Vegas. We played the House of Blues Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay. Okay, good. So this first piece here is called Bohemian Jedi. This guy right over here, and this is a uh, combo of uh, this is acrylic on canvas, on gallery thick canvas. And the idea of this was uh, two iconic figures. We were originally going to call it Freddy Skywalker, Luke Mercury, because Luke Skywalker and Freddy Mercury are in the piece. And then we had the idea for the uh, script of uh, the Star Wars theme and uh, come together with uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. And uh, this is a piece that has got a lot of interest. We probably had about, I don't know, five, 600 pictures taken where people are putting it up on Facebook in the last several weeks. People kind of go crazy for this one. It's one of our uh, kind of calling card pieces. Good, uh, this piece here is called The Burger King. Um, it's probably our most controversial piece, obviously. Um, our little uh, write-up here says, hate is a strong word, eat organic, discuss. We didn't want to do a lot of uh, dialogue about it, it kind of speaks for itself, but um, basically, initially our idea was to do an iconic, we like to work with iconic uh, images, and um, I had the idea to, uh, we were hiking one day and I had the idea to do a piece with Hitler. And obviously he's, uh, you know, pretty much the most uh, brutal villain uh, to mankind of all time. And um, I thought, well, how could we kind of soften it up a little bit or, you know, change the image a little bit. And we came up with the idea to put the, uh, this logo of this fast food chain here that shall name will remain unnamed and uh, we came up with this piece that it kind of communicates uh, a lot of things it's a pretty easy piece of, there's probably been a thousand pictures taken of this of this piece here and uh, people kind of dig it so good this piece here is called imagined he was here and as you work your way from the bottom basically this started off with uh, it's just a combination of John Lennon imagine who is uh, basically uh, our favorite guy our favorite uh, humanitarian artist of all time. I think he's pretty much the most important artist to ever uh, walk the face of the earth. And then we've got uh, Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here, um, a classic, iconic cover. But um, the two together kind of changes the idea of it where, um, you know, you've got the guy holding on to the guy catching fire and there's a lot of humanity in that picture and there's a lot of cold. They're both business guys so it's like kind of this cold. Uh, there's a lot of kind of different communications there, but John Lennon sort of like looking up on this thing in the sky is kind of the idea. We just our statement is uh, that the uh, world needs more John Lennons, basically, is what we're uh, one of our.
communication with. And actually, this is a first of uh, this is an uh, acrylic, and this is actually on a door slab that we picked up at Home Depot. Instead of canvases, we we've been painting on doors, and we did some other pieces on some doors, that, and it's cool. So. Good, so this is Ian from uh, URArt.net. Come on down to Gallery Celtica. You'll find it. It's right at the beginning of the road. Ira's totally like the man on. So uh, come on down, man. Downtown Phoenix, Arizona.